Hello, fellow truth seekers. Today, we embark on a riveting journey into the opulent world of entertainment, diving deep into the enigmatic life of a cultural icon. I'm your guide through the twists and turns of celebrity wealth, and our spotlight is fixed on none other than the charismatic Jimmy Walker. Brace yourselves as we unravel the layers of his success, exploring the extravagant tapestry of his net worth, the lavish abode he calls home, and the intriguing tales that lie beneath the glitz and glamour of his mansion. So, grab a seat and join me on this journalistic odyssey as we decode the financial tapestry of Jimmy Walker's life, peeling back the curtain to reveal the compelling story behind the dollars and dreams. Jimmy Walker is an American actor and comedian who has a net worth of $1.3 million. Walker is most famous for playing James Evans Jr. J.J. on the CBS sitcom Good Times, 1974 to 1979, where he originated the popular catchphrase, Dino Might. Born James Carter Walker Jr. On June 25, 1947, he found his roots in the vibrant streets of Brooklyn but later called the Bronx home. In the tight-knit Walker family, Jimmy, alongside his sister Beverly, was raised by his hard-working parents, James Sr. and Lorena. James Sr., a Pullman porter, contributed to the family's livelihood, while Lorena held a prestigious role as the head of the nursing department at a local hospital. Jimmy's educational journey led him to Theodore Roosevelt High School, where he became a participant in the SEEK Search for Education. Evaluation and Knowledge Program, generously funded by the state of New York. This program became a pivotal turning point for the aspiring young mind. Delving into the world of radio engineering, Walker's talents did not go unnoticed. The NYC radio station WRVR recognized his potential and extended a career-defining opportunity. Before the radio waves became his stage, Jimmy ventured into the heart of baseball excitement. At the tender age of a teenager, he assumed the role of a vendor at Yankee Stadium during the iconic 1964 World Series. It was on this bustling stage that he crossed paths with greatness when the legendary Mickey Mantle handed him a silver dollar, a symbolic gesture that hinted at the remarkable journey awaiting the young man. Jimmy Walker took his first steps into the world of stand-up comedy in 1969, marking the inception of a journey that would redefine his life. The comedy circuit provided a platform for Walker's talent, catching the attention of television producers after notable appearances on shows like The Jack Parr Show and Rowan. However, it was a serendipitous encounter with the casting director of Good Times that would alter the course of Walker's career. Casting him as the charismatic James J.J. Evans Jr., the show quickly became a cultural phenomenon, airing 133 episodes over six seasons. Jimmy Walker's portrayal of J.J. not only captured the hearts of viewers but also garnered him two Golden Globe nominations. The catchphrase, Die No Might, attributed to John Rich, one of the show's directors, became an indelible part of pop culture. Earning a spot in the TV Land special, the 100 greatest TV quotes and catchphrases. Yet, as the wave of success surged, discontent brewed within the cast. Co-stars John Amos and Esther Roll expressed frustration with the direction of the show, particularly the portrayal of J.J. Roll lamented the transformation of the character, stating, he's 18 and he doesn't work. He can't read or write. He doesn't think. The show didn't start out to be that. Amos echoed similar sentiments, criticizing the preference for comedic antics over meaningful dialogue. In the dynamic realm of film and television, the year 1980 marked a significant chapter as Walker graced the parody film, Airplane, a comedic gem that soared to box office success, grossing an impressive $171 million. Subsequently, he showcased his versatility in the TV movie, Murder Can Hurt You, and made memorable guest appearances on popular shows like Fantasy Island, 1982, and Cagney and Lacey, 1983. The year 1983 witnessed Walker's starring role as Val Valentine on the ABC sitcom At Ease, showcasing his comedic prowess in a military setting. Expanding his television presence, he portrayed Sonny Barnes on the syndicated series Bustin' Loose from 1987 to 1988. Not confined to the small screen, Walker ventured into the film industry, headlining the 1987 comedy, Going Bananas, alongside Don DeLuise and adding a science fiction touch to his repertoire with the 1991 movie, The Giver. The 90s brought about a new dimension to Jimmy Walker's career as he took on radio hosting duties on WOAI. 
Theo, KKAR, and WLS. Demonstrating his enduring appeal, Walker seamlessly transitioned into the evolving landscape of television, racing popular shows like The Larry Sanders Show, 1994, In the House, 1995, Space Ghost Coast to Coast, 1996, Scrubs, and Everybody Hates Chris. These diverse roles showcased Walker's adaptability and enduring relevance in the ever-changing currents of the entertainment industry. His multifaceted journey serves as a testament to his ability to captivate audiences across various mediums. Leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of popular culture, navigating the later chapters of Jimmy Walker's illustrious career, the year 2006 emerged as a momentous milestone for the cast of Good Times. Walker, alongside co-stars John Amos, Ralph Carter, Jeanette Dubois, and Bernadette Stannis, received the prestigious Impact Award at the TV Land Awards, a recognition that celebrated the enduring influence of their iconic show on television history. This collective acknowledgement not only underscored the cultural significance of Good Times, but also reaffirmed the lasting camaraderie among its talented ensemble. Delving into the accolades, it's noteworthy that Walker's individual contributions to the series did not go unnoticed. His portrayal of J.J. Evans earned him Golden Globe nominations for Best Supporting Actor Television in both 1975 and 1976, a testament to the depth and resonance he brought to his character. Venturing into the 2010s, Walker continued to leave his imprint on the cinematic landscape. A cameo appearance in the movie, Big Money Rustless, in 2010 showcased his enduring presence in the world of film. In 2011, he took on a role in the sci-fi channel movie, Super Shark, embracing the diversity of genres within his repertoire. Fast forwarding to May 4, 2023, Walker graced the small screen once again, making a guest appearance on the long-running soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. This marked another chapter in his extensive career, showcasing a seamless transition between television and film, and a continued commitment to engaging with audiences across different platforms. In a recent real estate move that caught the attention of property enthusiasts, Jimmy Walker made headlines in December 2023 by listing his longtime residence at 3883 Bedford Avenue, Brooklyn, for $1.3 million. This cozy yet stylish house has been a constant in Walker's life for decades, and the listing provides a glimpse into the charming features of this Brooklyn gem. Spanning 525 square feet, the residence boasts three bedrooms and two bathrooms, offering a blend of classic luxury and modern amenities. Nestled in the heart of Madison, Brooklyn, the house radiates character. With ample outdoor space featuring a front garden and an additional garage, storage space. The interiors showcase a harmonious mix of classic and contemporary elements. Upon entry, a spacious living room with high ceilings welcomes visitors, creating an immediate sense of openness. Abundant natural light filters through the windows, accentuating the warmth of the space. Hardwood floors grace the first floor, adding a touch of elegance to each room. The journey through the residence continues into a dining room and kitchen. The latter boasting numerous cabinets and room for a breakfast table. Stepping outside, one discovers a spacious private oasis in the backyard, complete with a generous garage. The property also features a full basement, offering additional storage space and a full bathroom. Ascending to the second floor reveals three spacious bedrooms, each equipped with full bathrooms and ample closet space. The versatility of the third bedroom stands out, providing options for a home office, mini gym, library, extra office, reading corner, or play area. Convenient access to the basement and designated outlets for a washer and dryer further enhance the practicality of the space. Beyond the confines of the residence, the property offers easy access to the city through B2, B31, and local buses. Boasting rare views of townhouses, the city, and tree-lined streets, this home captures a unique combination of abundant light and tranquility. As Jimmy Walker opens a new chapter, this residence stands as a testament to his enduring connection with Brooklyn. A place where classic charm meets contemporary comfort in the heart of Madison. Jimmy Walker now at the age of 76, has led a unique life in the limelight. Unveiling a certain solitude within, Walker's journey sheds light on the complexities that can accompany fame. In the realm of relationships, Walker discloses that he has never been married and remains childless. Despite his success in numerous relationships, his life mirrors that of many other black entertainers, raising questions about the untold aspects of their souls. 
The specter of loneliness becomes palpable, particularly in the later years when the absence of close family is keenly felt. Political Standpoint In a revealing interview with CNN, Walker shared his political stance, describing himself as an independent realist. His views on affirmative action are clear, he believes it has outlived its usefulness. This perspective invites contemplation on the nuanced experiences of black individuals navigating the socio-political landscape. Controversial views. The veteran entertainer's opinions on gay marriage add further layers to his complex persona. While personally opposing it for moral reasons, Walker supports its legalization, suggesting a nuanced approach to societal issues. This stance reflects an individual who, despite personal beliefs, acknowledges the broader context and the need for societal progress. In understanding Walker, we may gain insights into the broader challenges faced by black figures in the entertainment industry. Adding depth to our comprehension of their experiences. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.